Hello friends, this is Umesh from BinaryUpdates.com and in this video, I'm going to share four tips in order to get an internship or the fresher jobs into embedded systems. Now, many people give me a call and they ask me, Umesh, how do they get an internship or the fresher jobs when they don't have really a real field experience into embedded systems? And it's really a, a problem for many fresh graduates or the people who study in a university right now. They don't know. They really wanted to be an embedded developer, but they don't know how they're going to get started open what will be their entry entry point for so that's why I'm going to make this video now as I said if you need any help to learn embedded systems check out the link in the video descriptions and I would be very happy to help you let's not waste the time and let's get into the first step so the first step to get into embedded system as an intern is to get the right skill sets now when I say a right skill set that means you should know at least one microcontroller to be very good at so you have to be very good at a microcontroller and its architecture and you have to be a very good at c and c plus plus programming minimum you have to have those things right uh, if you have the microcontroller uh, programming skill sets along with the programming skill sets then the next step for you is to work on a real life project now you will say like if you don't have the job if you have not involved in some some projects then how are you going to get the, the real life experience to build the project then I would say go and look out for the community there are a lot of communities like a hack a day then adopt road spark fund there are people who share a lot of different projects so take up the online project and work on that project and make something work right so that's 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 one thing that you can do uh, with no money right you just go out those kind of websites go there log in there take up the project that you like and just work on that project and just improve that project slowly step by step and in the process you will collect the experience and you will learn in in, in the journey now the third step is to build your profile the profile means whatever the project that you have done whatever the circuit you have built whatever the code you have written you better off sharing your code on a github or maybe share the pictures of your project maybe make the video and share this video onto the onto the instagram facebook linkedin and other other things i would rather i i would rather ask you to focus on the linkedin and the github because that's where the developer the project managers and all people live so if you show off your skills and if somebody thinks okay you are really a credible person you you know what you're talking about okay and then when you approach somebody to ask for the internship or job or something they will take you seriously it increases your chance in order to be uh, employable and to get the internship very quickly and I'm talking about a paid internship you can get a paid internship basically by having the right skill sets and right management now the next and the fourth step after building a profile is to work with the recruiters now working with the recruiters is very interesting thing because many people say like oh I don't like to ask for help or something like that see the world is made up of several billion people right nobody care for you so it's your responsibility to go out there and approach the recruiters okay of course they also will uh, approach to you but you don't have to wait you just go there and approach the recruiters talk to them and show off what all things you have done exchange your resume tell them what you are what, what all the things you have done and why you are a credible person to be considered for that particular position that you are applying for and there are plenty of recruiters out there on a LinkedIn sort of network so it's all about your awareness and your readiness so if you follow this four step I mean you will be very likely to get success so the first step is to get the right skill sets the second step is to uh, work on a real project take up the open source project improve that project and share it again with the community the third step is to build your profile okay and the fourth step is to work with the recruiters so if you follow this four steps I'm sure you're gonna get your internship okay and that internship will be the starting point for you into embedded systems as a professional and from there you get a your first job and then you can move on and just build the next skill sets improve upon yourself and then get the high paid job if you need any help in order to become a professional embedded software developer as i said check out the link in the video description and i would be very happy to help you thank you very much for your time and bye bye for now